Thanks to Wendigo Tea for their support. They're keeping each episode steeped in mystery and value. WendigoTea.com. Your daily game plan for success. It's Sacks in the Morning. Steve Sacks. Hi, Steve Sachs here with Sachs in the Morning, and welcome to February. This is February 1st, and we're wrapping up Humor Week this week. And what a great time to introduce to you our new sponsor, Wendigo Tea Company. Love it. Love tea. And I'm sure we got a lot of listeners that love it as well. But Wendigo Tea is amazing. These are not cheap tea bags that you find in the store. These are high quality, well sourced, loose leaf tea that are really amazing. And you got to check out the descriptions of these teas. They are absolutely hilarious. For instance, Bigfoot black tea that I'm, by the way, sipping today. Mm, Love it got its name because the loose leaves of the tea look just like long, curly, brown monkey hair. That's how they got this name. So if you want to get your hands on some of this delicious tea, how about an exclusive 15% discount for Sacks in the Morning fans when using the promo code SAX, S-A-X, at checkout on wendigotea.com, or you can find the link on saxinthemorning.com. So Monday we talked about the health benefits of laughter, And just yesterday, we talked about the positive impact that laughter has on our relationships. But today, we're going to talk about goals and careers. And that's a big part of what this podcast is all about, isn't it? Goals and careers. How can laughter help us with that? Well, if you needed another reason to laugh, well, here's a good one. Laughter is good for your career, and it makes you more productive. So what do I mean by this? Well, there is a positive correlation that someone who is jovial and kind is going to build better relationships with people in their careers, including their superiors. And they're more likely to get promotions. And that's just common sense. I mean, the person everybody likes is a person who gets ahead, and everybody likes the person with a good sense of humor, as long as they're, you know, productive at work and they work their tail off. Now, we're not talking about the class clown here who is disruptive and always tries to get in the way of, you know, somebody doing their work. Lousy attempts at humor. We're not talking about that guy. We're talking about the warm, funny person who also works hard. And how about this? You want to be that warm, funny person who works hard? Well, laugh more. It's plain and simple. Because research by Daniel Scroy, how about that name? He's an economics professor at UK's University of Warwick. He shows that laughter actually makes you more productive. How does this happen? Well, like we talked about on Monday... Laughter boosts levels of dopamine and serotonin. And while those chemicals in the brain are linked to feeling good, they also play a huge role in how well you focus. Research that Scroy co-authored, published in 2015, found evidence of a link between happiness and productivity. One of the techniques used in his study was to use comedy to make participants laugh and be happier which he said boosted productivity by up to 12%. That study also found that people who laugh and consider themselves to be happy can accomplish the same amount of work in one hour that it takes someone who isn't happy an hour and 20 minutes. As we mentioned Monday as well, laughter reduces the chemicals in the brain that cause stress and anxiety, which are feelings that hinder focus and productivity. Now, how about this? Here I am in the locker room in Vero Beach, Florida. Tommy Lasorda calls me in before the 9 a.m. Monday meeting. We meet for about 45 minutes and we go on to the field. So he calls me in there about a quarter to nine and says, hey, Saxy, get this. We're kind of dragging. You know, we're, we're in the middle of spring training. I want you to start out the meeting today. I'm going to defer to you. And I want you to tell those jokes about the doctor that we talk about. Or I want you to tell the jokes about the pig head I put in your bed last year. Or I want you to rag on somebody's new hairdo in the locker room. Get everybody going because we need to laugh. Here's a Hall of Fame manager asking one of his players to use laughter, laughter, as a way for his team to take advantage and get a little bit of an edge to go out there and have some productive days. Laughter. That's what he did. So to sum up this week, make time for laughter in your life and don't just wait for it to come to you. Make it a priority. Deliberately find time each day to laugh. Watch some funny videos on YouTube or, you know, wherever you can get some jokes. Call up a buddy, you know, that will make you laugh and have a 10-minute conversation with them. And and read some of your favorite comic, whatever it is. Watch a comedy instead of a dark drama. We have enough drama, don't we? 
So do those kind of things and start laughing more. Make it a point to laugh and build a life of better health, happiness, and productivity. And that is my short for today. If you like what you heard, give us a positive review, subscribe, and share. Also, remember that the Sacks in the Morning swag is now available on my Instagram site. Go to Sacks in the Morning underscore podcast. You'll see it right there on the Instagram and just hit the link. Everything's there mugs, hats, tumblers, you name it. Take advantage of it.